Hey guys, it's Jonathan here with JZEB Metal Detecting. Today I'm at this nice park. It's a pretty big field. There's also a playground there. I'm not sure if we're gonna hit the playground today, but we're definitely gonna go at this field. I'm not sure exactly of the age of this park. Um, so I'm not sure if there's a possibility for silver coins or anything like that, but we're gonna give it a go. Worst comes to worst, we come out with a handful of clad and that's all right. Uh, so with me today, I've got the Garrett Ace 250. I've also got my Pro Pointer AT and my Lush digging tool. So we're gonna put the gloves on, turn the detector on, get started, and I'll see you with the, and I'll see you when I'm at the first signal. All right, guys. Sorry for the wind, but the first signal of the day is a 1979 penny, copper penny, a couple inches deep. Obviously, it could be a recent drop, but it's nice to see some copper pennies out here. And we're going to hope that they are. there are also some Wheaties out here. So I'll see you on the next signal. All right, guys, second signal of the day. We've got a zinc penny. It was pretty shallow, so we'll keep it up, and I'll see you on the next signal. All right, guys, our next signal was a coin spill of two nickels and five pennies. So 15 cents that will add to the pouch, and I'll see you on the next signal. All right, guys, this is kind of crazy. Just pulled another 10 pennies out of this same area. So I'm assuming someone was probably sitting at that bench and maybe they saw all these pennies in their wallet and thought, you know, I'm gonna get rid of them. But I'll keep on looking, see if I find any more. If I find any more just pennies, I probably won't record them. But then we'll keep going and see what else we can find. All right, guys, finally got something else. We got a dime. All right, guys, just pulled a quarter out right there. And I've probably pulled about three or four pennies out in between these last few, in between these last clips. So there's lots of pennies in this park. Um, I've also been pulling out a lot of pull tabs, which to me is a good sign that no one has really detected here before because pull tabs tend to ring up in that gold range that you really want to dig. So while it might make your digging harder, it does mean that it's possible that you're gonna find something that's gonna be really good that you wouldn't have found if there had been no pull tabs there and someone had cleaned them all up already. So we're gonna keep going and I'll see you on the next signal. All right, guys, just pulled out a dime and I thought it was interesting because I looked over and I saw a penny right there. So it's 11 cents. I guess we could count that as one hole, but we'll keep on going. And looks like we've got another pull tab. See you on the next signal. All right, guys, just pulled out a penny from right here. And when I put my pinpointer down, I had another signal. So I dug it out, it's this. At first I thought it was a bullet, but now I'm not really sure. So let me know what you think it might be in the comments below. All right, guys, just pulled another quarter out right here. 25 cents, we'll add it to the pouch. You'll love to see it, see you on the next signal. And we've got our third quarter in the same spot. I think that's definitely enough to call it a coin spill. Let's see if there's any more. So we've got a pretty good signal here. Sounds like a quarter probably, about two inches down. Let's do a live dig. It's a bit difficult with one hand, but figure it out. All right, I'm gonna need to use two hands. I'll be right with you. All right, guys, turns out I was just a little bit off. I can see a rim down there. Let's pull it out. And, oh, dropped it. That is a quarter. All right, we'll add it to the pouch. Another 25 cents, I will see you on the next signal. All right, guys, just pulled out a dime right here. And what was interesting about it is how deep it was. It was about six inches down, maybe five inches. So that's not the best sign in terms of silver, just because it might be too deep for my detector to reach it. But at least we're finding stuff. I'll see you on the next signal. Just pulled out another quarter. It's a modern quarter. Looks like the year is uh, 1982. So we'll keep on going. That's our, I think our sixth quarter for the day. Six feet away, we've got another quarter. This one looks like it's a state quarter. It was pretty deep. So again, it looks like the coins are sinking here or this area has been filled in recent years, but we'll keep on going for a bit. This is definitely not a spill these last few quarters we've been having, but they're all in close-ish proximity to each other. I think that's our eighth quarter for the day. So that's two bucks and quarters. We're doing well, we'll keep on going. Well, here's an interesting find. This was ringing up like a quarter. 
So I thought, wow, we're gonna have another quarter. Turns out it's actually an Allen wrench. It may look like a nail at first, but that's definitely an Allen wrench. So I think that's kind of cool. Something a little bit different. You can see the six sides of it there. It's a pretty small one. That's definitely something I'm gonna keep because it's cool. So we'll keep on going. All right, guys, so I just finished up. That Allen key is gonna have to be my last signal for the day that I'm gonna record. Uh, I did find a couple more pieces of trash, but obviously I'm not gonna record those. So I think that this was a really good park. I didn't do that much of it. I was only here for about an hour. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big park. I think I'll definitely be back here in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll do a battle here just because it's a really good park, lots of signals. Uh, it really tests your ability to discriminate between trash and something good. So now I'm gonna head back to the car and I'm gonna do the wrap up. All right, everybody, sorry for the road noise, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the wrap up. At this park right here, I found two dollars and quarters, four dimes, four nickels, and 26 pennies. Um, a lot of those pennies ended up coming from the initial coin spill we had where I found about 15 or 16 pennies. I also found this, which I thought might be a bullet. I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments below. And I also found this Allen key, which I thought was cool. Um, I also went metal detecting this morning uh, at a few beaches near me. I found about 70 cents only, but I also found this Hot Wheels that I thought was pretty cool. So I thought I'd show that to you guys. Um, I've been keeping this Tupperware container inside my car so that I can just take everything, put it right in there, and eventually I'll take it all in, clean it, roll it up, and take it to the bank. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked, uh, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave a comment below about anything you'd like to see in the future. Thank you very much. This has been Jay-Z EB Metal Detecting.